morning tubers this video is one of the videos that you really don't ever want to have to do but sometimes um, you know I will show you things that aren't pretty and uh, in a minute I'm gonna show you some footage of some things that uh, we've been dealing with out here um, got it under control now and uh, we're not too much the worse for wear uh, but stay tuned and uh, there's nothing out there on the internet on this I've looked not for hydroponics anyway so um, just kind of check us out see what we did and if you ever see these little critters and I'll give you a hint it's critters uh, this is how we handled it anyway and it seems to have worked Stay tuned. Morning tubers, today's the 25th of January um, after market and working in here today cleaning out a lot of troughs um, gonna be showing you what you do if you start noticing that you've got a pest called root aphids one thing you have to do um, and you need to do this periodically anyway is clean out this reservoir um, root aphids by nature and name are aphids that will get down in the roots in a hydroponic system hard for a ladybug to get to them now a ladybug will eat its larvae but what happens is they uh, they breed and lay their eggs on the actual plant and then they move to the roots um, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll suck nutrients right out of the roots and you'll see yellowing on the leaves and then you'll see uh, dead leaves at the bottom and they'll feed on the dead um, organic material so what we're doing is we're cleaning this out I actually already did um, got everything all out of it scrubbed it real good with uh, that brush and um, then we refill it make sure it's all rinsed out there's no uh, no larvae no eggs anything floating around in there they really don't do well in the water anyway the aphids kind of drown but we cleaned it out just in case. I don't want them floating around in here. Just in case they uh, were able to repopulate from something in this reservoir. But anyway, when we're cleaning this out, we go ahead and take care of that anyway. The next thing we do is we take every single one of these troughs. Uh, I clean a bunch of them, like what's over here. We clean them all up with a mild bleach solution and uh, we'll bring a clean trough over to this table right here and we'll take all of the um, plants out of one of these troughs dip them hold on let me turn this around so you can see it's a little easier all right what we'll do is we'll take this uh, existing trough here all these plants will go into this solution here this is a mild insecticidal soap with a little neem uh, we'll dip it dip the plant root and all in that and then this is a rinse bucket and then we'll put it into a clean trough and that one will go back back or get stacked and we'll clean it again uh, later to make sure there's nothing in it so we're trying to get rid of all the uh, the pupae <laughs> whatever you call those things the young uh, aphids and the eggs at this point all right, the very first thing you have to do is you have to clean your troughs. And I mean, better than you typically do, because I haven't been going to this amount of uh, trouble with these guys, but I will from now on. I have this brush. It's on a 10 foot PVC, which will run the length of the trough 
and see how long that thing is. It's actually about 12 feet. So what we do is we run that up inside of this and scrub it out real good. And I actually, this is not my idea by the way, I'll take a washcloth and this one's nasty, but I'll dip it in bleach and cover this up and slide that inside this. Scrub it out real good so that it's fairly clean on the inside. This one's dirty, I haven't cleaned it yet. But anyway, clean that thing with bleach water. Inside and out. I'm scrubbing the outside of this thing with bleach water too. Just get a bucket of bleach, dip that in it, scrub it inside and out. Let that thing dry for an hour or so and gas file the chlorine off of it. And that is step one. Step two is over here. When you have a clean trough, and this one's clean, you take each one of these plants out of the system. And you see those guys in there? Those are root aphids. This water is a mixture of insecticidal soap and neem. Each one of these buckets, when it was full, had about two tablespoons of in, uh, neem and two tablespoons of insecticidal soap. And this is a rinse bucket. You just rinse it out real good. Even if there's one or two left on here, uh, don't worry about it. They're dead. Stick them back in the new trough. You just do this for all of them. See all those guys in there? Dip them in there. Dip them in there. Most of them are gone. Anyway, I think you get the point. We have done this for every single one of these and every single one of these. These guys are starting to look beautiful. This is all I have left to do. This side right here. Anyway, somebody had to tell you how to get rid of these guys. I've seen nothing for hydroponic systems like this when you get an infestation like I have or had. Um, please tell everybody, get rid of these sick little critters. They're terrible. God bless. Go plant some dirt, some nutrient solution, some um, neem and insecticidal soap, whatever you have to do to grow something. And we'll see you next time. Good luck with them little guys. They're a pain in the butt.